hi everybody welcome to my channel welcome to alma's beauty my name is alma and, and let's get started come get ready with me and we will chat and things like that so i already moisturized my skin using the la roche posay and then i prime with this it's the vitamin c elf uh, bright putty primer this one right here okay makeup i'm gonna be using today the foundation i have this one sitting on my desk so i'm just gonna go with that um i just woke up kind of like about an hour ago and i'm like still swollen i don't know maybe i should have stayed in bed the true match uh by l'oreal and i'm gonna be using this brush by elf it's the buffing foundation brush and i'm just gonna put some on the brush itself and put it directly onto my skin and blend i hope everybody's having a great week it's really gloomy out here in cali i hate it i'm over it where's the sun i don't know what's going on like bring it out usually the sun starts kind of coming out like around three or four kind of but still like it's like noon right now and it's so cloudy it feels and it looks like it's gonna rain but it doesn't it's so weird okay my foundation is on and i am sipping on my lemon water right now because i need to okay let's move on with the concealer the concealer i'm using today is gonna be the makeup revolution filter finish soft matte concealer blah 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 and the reason i'm like talking really low is because the kid is still sleeping and it's noon yeah her sleep schedule's out of whack i know I'm gonna be using this pointy brush by Real Techniques. It's called the Expert Edge Foundation Brush. So it's for foundation as well, but it's pointy and it gets right in there under the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the Makeup Revolution translucent baking powder. I'm gonna put some on my hand like this, and I'm gonna pick up my triangle sponge and pretty much spread it onto the sponge so it's like an even coat and place it under my eye to set the concealer. And now I'm gonna grab more, spread it on my hand, and under the eye. Now I'm gonna set my foundation by using the L'Oreal True Match Powder. And I'm gonna pick it up with my powder brush. This one's by Real Techniques. And pretty much Stamp it on my face. Okay, and I did my brows off camera. Okay, so today for my eyeshadow, I decided to pull out this MAC. Um, it's the Flamboyant MAC Art Library palette, and the colors are beautiful. It's summer, and I wanted to bring out a little more warm, and I also have this palette. This is called It's Designer, and, you know, I just wanted to mix up some colors here, grab some from the other palette, but... For starters, I'm going to use this palette right here, and I'm going to put some neutrals on my eyes first. So I'm going to go in with this color. I think it's called Dada Issues. I 
think that I think I'm reading them correctly, but it's a light brown. Any light brown will work. Um, I'm just putting it on my crease on the outer B area and stamping it in with my brush. This one's by Eco Tools. And I'm just stamping it and I'm grabbing more. I'm just stamping it across my crease. I am wearing like a neutral shirt, so I do want to put colors on my eyes. Now I'm going to pick up this reddish brick color and place it on the outer V a little bit. I'm just warming it up a little. Just like that and swiping it inwards. Like softly, I'm just caressing the lid. Barely even pressing. Just on the outer part like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up the colorful palette. This one is called It's Designer. And I'm gonna get this beautiful yellow right here. And the yellow, it's called, yeah, Chrome Yellow. And it's a matte finish color. And I just wanna brighten up the eye. So, oh my God. Oh, you can see it. You can see it. It's right there, kinda. I don't think it's picking up on the camera, but I could see it here. So from the inner corner, <clears throat> spread it all over the lid. It's just a matte yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up this beautiful shimmery yellow here. And that one is called, if it ain't Baruch, if it ain't Baruch, I don't know. It's B-A-R-O-Q-U-E. Okay. And place it on top of the yellow. I'm just, I'm just tapping it in and spreading it on my lid. Okay, I feel the need to darken out a little bit on my outer corner, a little bit. And I'm getting this really pointy, soft brush. This one's called a Defining Crease Brush. This one is by Real Techniques. And I'm gonna pick up this really dark color right here. This one, I'm gonna get the, that one. It kind of looks like a burgundy dark. And I'm just gonna darken out the outer part. And swirl it to create the V. I'm really gently just swirling the color in. Now I'm gonna get my smudge brush and pick up that dark color. That dark color is called everyone's darling and it's a really matte color this one right here i'll pick that up and place it on my under eye right underneath my bottom lashes okay so i just did my mascara and the mascara i am using is maybelline new york lash sensational sky high the pink tube and i love it so far so check it out i know change of plans i picked up this orange and i think it looks really cute and i think it'll look really good right here just a pop of orange or maybe even across the lid and then let this pop so i'm gonna try this right now 
yes i'm almost done doing my eye makeup i was pretty much done but then i opened up my thingy for my contour and i see this i'm like whoa so this one's by makeup geek it's called dynamic and it's a power pigment i love makeup geek and i think this is my first time using this color so let's see how it goes so i'm pretty much placing it right there in between the gold and the outer V, kind of. Just want more warmth. You know, I'm staring at this look as I'm finishing up with my last touches and I'm like I remind like this reminds me of the flaming hot Cheetos bag <laughs> I swear it got like yellow and like intense orange and it looks kind of flaming hot and I don't know it just looks like it but I think it looks really cute it's definitely a pop of color and that's kind of what I was going for so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and contour the face. I'm going to be using it in the Makeup Geek. I think it's called Burnished. Yeah, Burnished Contour. And I'm using a Real Techniques small brush. It's like a small round brush. And this one's called the Contour Brush. I can hear you, my little Tatiana. Okay, and for blush, I'm gonna pick up, um, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna combine these two and keep it kinda in the light side because I have an intense eye look. I swear, I'm gonna call this, look, I've been staring at it, I'm like, I'm just gonna call it the Flaming Hot Cheetos eye makeup i swear i'm like gravitating towards that i'm just might as well call it that and lily just woke up that's why the balloon's there and she's yes my baby oh. you're so cute you're so beautiful And this is the Makeup Revolution Blush Palette. And for the lips, I decided to go with the Superstay Vinyl Ink by Maybelline. And the color is called Extra, and I think it looks really good with the eyes. And I'm gonna set it, and I'm gonna lightly mist. I know I've been going ham with it, but lately I'm like, yo, like it's just a little spritz. You don't have to go crazy, so. And this completes my makeup look. I hope you guys like my makeup. I love it. I am so ready for the day. And yeah, this is my Flaming Hot Cheetos eye makeup look. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, share it with friends. And I'll see you guys on the next video.